segment. Nationwide, there has been a noticeable increase in the reported number of utility scams. Scammers are tricking consumers into giving away their money or personal information. Willie Phillips, chair of the D.C. Public Service Commission, is here to talk about the Fight Utility Scams website to help D.C. consumers protect themselves against utility scams. And we welcome you back to Let's Talk Live, some important information that we can get out here and help people in our community. So what is the role of the D.C. Public Service Commission? So the, the Public Service Commission, we are a quasi-judicial government agency in the District of Columbia. We regulate utilities like natural gas, telecommunications, and electric service. So let's talk about how consumer protections fits into your role. So we, our mission is to make sure that we, to ensure that utilities provide safe, reliable, and affordable utility service. We do that through many ways. One of which is that we want to make sure that we provide protection as well as education for our consumers. And I'm guessing that is the reason you decided to launch the Fight Utilities Scam website. But there obviously is a need for this uh, if there's an entire website behind it. That's right. So we've seen an uptick lately in complaints from our consumers telling us that they've been contacted with some type of suspicious or fraudulent activity. Uh, we know that the best way, the best thing that you can do uh, to protect yourself is to be informed. And we want to give the power back to the people. If you think you're being scammed, we want you to have the tools to fight back. So let's talk about what consumers can find on the website. Yeah, so we have everything from videos. Um, we have role play actors that sort of walk through in real time. Uh, people that are in scenarios that, you know, someone comes to your home, someone gives right. you a phone call, you get an email that's suspicious. It shows you exactly what to do. Um, another thing we have on the website are tips. And this really things this play by play. This is what you can expect. This is what you need to do. This is what you need to say. Let's talk about some of those tips. And, you know, we so often hear stories of people being scammed. We say, how did that happen? You know, but it happened. And sometimes it happens to us when we think it will never happen to me. But what are some tips that people watching right now can watch out for? So there are a couple things I like to say. I think the, the most important thing that you need to do is to confirm that you're dealing with someone you know. So if someone comes to you and they say that I'm with the utility, mm -hmm. you want to make sure that they are indeed with that company, and you can do it as simple. Just say, hold on a minute, pick up the phone, contact the utility. You can right. go to our website, get the phone number. You can also go online. If you don't know the status of your account, pull it up, check. Right. Make sure, if you, if you think you're not behind, pull up your bill to make sure. Right. The second thing I would do is you want to guard your information. You want to make sure that your personal and financial information is not given to anyone that you don't initiate contact with or if you don't expect for them to contact you. Right. The last thing I'll mention is that you want to pay your, your utility directly. No one's ever going to come to your door from Pepco or Washington Gas right. and say, give me cash or right. I'm going to disconnect your service. Right. If you want to pay a utility, go to the website, go through an authorized payment location center and do it there. And the best advice usually is if it doesn't seem right, it probably isn't. That's right. No, if it seems too good or right. if it seems suspicious at all, if you're in doubt, just don't do it. Stop, walk away, and confirm. Well, here's the website on your screen right now that you can visit with any questions and the videos that Willie talked about a lot. And maybe visit it today to kind of get refreshed on things just in case something comes up so you, you know you're good to go. Thanks for being here today. Always great to see you. Always good to see you as well. Thank you for having me. Absolutely. We'll take a quick break and have more of Let's Talk Live in just a moment. The proceeding was a sponsored segment.